Okay, my friends, huge discovery today, just out today. MIT breaks the quantum limit, li limit using a LIGO. Well, let's see what they have to say. Here's the video about it right here. How LIGO uses quantum squeezing. Let's play it and see what it has to say. All right, the quantum, uh, the LIGO facility had begun using frequency-dependent quantum squeezing to work around fundamental limits. And then it really gets kind of silly, but I'll show you what it says. And they're showing different frequencies and bouncing all around, and they're somehow trying to squeeze it this way and that way to make them so that they don't have a lot of interference. See, ideally, they want a nice, clean wave, but they don't get that. They get all kind of shaky stuff. So they're doing something. See, this is what they got. These shaky things. So they're trying to push it this way and push it this way into a nice clean wave. What that does for them, I have no idea. But I'm going to show you what they're trying to find. All right, let me just tell you something. I don't care what they do. They're not going to be able to tell what's going on in space. There are so many particles and fields in the way that I don't care if they can squeeze this way or that way. It, it's stuff is coming through dense stuff here, less dense stuff over here. It doesn't matter. They're never going to be able to tell the speed or the distance or any of that stuff. It's just it's just a blur in space. See, here's a LIGO again. And this is what they're looking for, is these fields and they could say they, these fields are being caused because of collisions of black holes and all that stuff and that's that's a fine they can call any anything that collides with another particle causes a field and causes waves like this that's true gravitational waves are ripples in space-time caused by some of the most violent and energetic processes in the universe well that's true and it's also they, they don't have to be violent and energetic they're just interfering with each other's fields. We found them too. But we found real ones, not, not pictures like this. See, this is what they're looking for, and we found them. They, they, these are the same things. These are all different fields. You see these fields? These aren't violent crashing collisions. They're just fields that are set up by the dipole nature of spinning particles in space and all the things that are setting up all these big fields are spinning the, the moon doesn't have a field because it's not spinning it's pushing ahead creating a blue shift here because it's pushing that way crushing the wave and creating it shifting it into the blue spectrum whereas this is shifting it more to the red spectrum it's moving that way so we have found these fields that they're touting that they well we just discovered these fields well that's fine they're there it's just they've never seen them before we can see them very very clearly very clearly and they're all dipoles anytime you see a black and a white that's a dipole 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 they're all dipoles and that's my dipole electron flood theory everything basically is a dipole in nature 